Faded and cloudy headlights are a major problem seen on vehicles of all types that typically are three years and older. The sun's UV rays cause this damage after the protective coating applied at the factory wears off. Degraded headlight lenses can create unsafe driving conditions during nighttime hours. ServiceRight now offers the next generation in headlight restoration. The ServiceRight formula has been tested under SAE protocols and has demonstrated long-term durability. Most headlight restoration products on the market today offer short-term solutions that require extensive steps during application and require repeated maintenance. By contrast, the application of ServiceRight typically takes 15 minutes from start to finish, including curing. The application of ServiceRight can be applied in the shade or direct sunlight, but preferably in a dust-free area. There are no temperature restrictions in the application of this product. Supplemental items include a water spray bottle, 2-inch masking tape, and a paper tape combination to shield from overspray. Start by raising the hood of the vehicle and place masking tape around the painted and chrome areas of the headlight. To ensure proper adhesion, preparation of the lens is very important. It is recommended that you clean the lens first with a silicone wax remover or simply use isopropyl alcohol prior to the wet sanding process. Step 1. To remove the cloudy, deteriorated laminate coating, use the 600 grit wet sanding paper provided in the kit and vigorously wet sand the entire oxidized areas of the headlight surface, keeping the sanding area wet at all times. Sand in an even, vertical, or horizontal manner and do not use circular motions. Continue sanding until each lens is clean of any oxidized, discolored laminate and is completely smooth to the touch. Lens will continue to appear cloudy until the repair coating is applied. Step 2. Wipe lens dry and then all of the surrounding areas with the lint-free towel that is provided in the kit. Lenses should be completely dry and free from dirt and sanding residue. Step 3. Wipe each lens down with the alcohol towelettes provided to remove any remaining contaminants. Allow the alcohol residue several minutes to completely dissipate and make sure the lens surface is completely dry before application of product. If using a paper and tape masking combination, apply now before spraying. Step 4. Before spraying directly on lens, shake can well and clean tip by spraying a few short test sprays to be sure there is no spitting or dripping. Start at the top left corner, moving from left to right. Continuously spray one full even wet coat with a slight overlap holding can level approximately 3 to 4 inches from the lens surface, keeping your hand moving at all times to avoid runs. Always spray perpendicular, not at an angle to the lens surface. For lens with curved edges, always follow the curvature around with your hand while spraying a constant pattern instead of angling the spray pattern at the ends. Immediately after application, examine the lens for a smooth surface. If any areas appear rough in texture, immediately apply a second coat to those areas. It is recommended that the masking tape not be removed until the lens surface is tack-free to avoid residual moisture from contaminating the lens. Any overspray that may have gotten on the paint may be removed with isopropyl alcohol or a damp rag. If for any reason a lens needs to be retreated, it must first be dried and then steps 1 through 5 repeated. Step 6. The curing process. The surface right coating is cured either by placing the lens in direct sunlight or by using the UV handheld curing wand. Natural sunlight will take the coating to tack free in approximately 10 minutes and the vehicle is drivable and will continue to cure in the natural sunlight for the next several hours. The UV curing wand is the preferred curing method and fastest way of drying the finish, taking only 2-3 to three minutes per headlight. Wait at least 24 hours prior to commercial car washing.